Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. Today I want to talk about something in Nomad that's always kind of bothered me. That there's no way to rig a person to move them properly. So, you know, I've, I've created one that I can cut and chop and move around and pose. But it's pretty tedious and it takes a long time. I found Pose Tool 3D Pro. It's an app that works really well with Nomad Sculpts. You can export whatever object or person that you've posed and bring it into Nomad. It also has a lot of a lot of decent props. Some of them are a little better than others that you can bring into Nomad as well as a nice base for something else. So let's get into it and you're gonna see just how easy it is and quick to pose a figure and bring it into Nomad and be able to sculpt on it. Okay so let's go into Pose Tool 3D Pro and that's this app right here and this is what it brings in. It has the default human in here and just a standard T-pose. Now there's, it's pretty simple. The, on the left side you have, it already has the head picked and every time you pick a different portion of the body you'll see that this upper, left upper will, the circle will turn into something else telling you what you've, what you've grabbed. Okay, um, you can lock, you can lock some controls. Now the good thing on here, you can move the whole figure up and down if you want. And the only thing I found that's kind of weird is the quickness of how these things move. It's almost like using a joystick. So all the movement controls are kind of, think of it like using a joystick on your controller for your game. You know, they're all just kind of a little weird like that. Okay, so over here on the other side, you can hide the menus. Um, pad menus on you can turn that on it'll scoot everything off to the side which is kind of nice go into the main menu you can also also add three or more figures in there you can get up to four so you can you can also move those around and pose them however you want there's also a lot of filters on here for these are more for drawing and you can click one on or click it off you can bring in a background image if you like the only thing that's distracting about that is that it actually it's not like in the background on the horizon it's right behind the figure which is kind of hard to deal with i didn't really like it you can take a screenshot new scene a lot there's a lot of different things in here you can change the field of view if you want it way you know bring it out or bring it in you can turn the grid on and off or this is another grid this is a full grid for all directions which Feel like that's a little distracting too you can send it recenter the camera um, and that's kind of the main thing i did change the background color because originally it was kind of a gray you know or i'll see kind of down here somewhere all down one way or the other i don't know oh reset color there we go so this is kind of a kind of a basic gray which i thought was kind of plain so I did just kind of a nice sky blue in the background, make it a little, you know, horizon and foreground. All right, so that's the main menu and the figure option menu. Now this is the different draw modes. So some of these you might want to do, you know, you can change to perspective so you can kind of see how the perspective would go. You could do a black body just to see if you like the actual visual shape. Sometimes that really helps too when you're sculpting. Um, has a skeleton drawing, skeleton 3D inside, which is kind of cool. And then just all these other things you can change, change to. I'm just gonna leave it to, um, on just normal. But the one that is kind of nice is muscles. And if you just take a couple screenshots and then send this, you know, in the background of Nomad, it'd be kind of nice because then you know exactly where you should be sculpting for different muscles now when you go to export this I tried it just to see if the texture would stay the textures lost you just get your posed person you don't get the muscle overlay so that's just it's just kind of what it is all right so um, now on here you can scale the figure different sizes you can do the skin color a little bit you know you might want to change it to where it's a little bit more natural skin tone now understand that when you send this, it's this is going to be lost too. All you're going to get is a gray basic object in Nomad. You can always reset the color if you want, but we'll go just kind of a orangey tone, maybe. Doesn't really matter too much. 
Um, just something to kind of help see what's going on. There we go. All right, now you can do male or female. Um, you can always reset the pose and you can change different things, but we'll just do full figure and close because we did move it a little bit. It doesn't really matter when you're sculpting it. Um, you can change it into um, mannequin, muscular, super skinny, which is really nice. You know, if you got kind of a scary, creepy thing you want to sculpt, make an older person, make them a little fat, kind of just normal size. Um, the cool thing on here too is if you go into this you'll see the side on the side there it says face pose click on that zoom in on the face and you can open the jaw you can stick the tongue out you can move the left close the left and right eyes change the eyebrows and then you can do different emotions which is cool so you can do angry um, and you can combine them so you can be rage with a smile or a little bit of a surprise you know you can change change them up a little bit so um, that's kind of cool to be able to change change that a little bit more uh, makes it quicker when you go into nomad now I did notice when I moved the head into well the whole body but the head and overall was a little rough when it went in so I'm not gonna really probably ever worry too much about that other than maybe just doing a quick reference um, to send it over simply because it, it just got kind of weird I'm gonna go with my myself I'm gonna do something a little scarier so I'm gonna do the skinny um, now the only thing that this one doesn't have that some of the others do is that you can Kind of change all the body parts you can make make the chest a little stronger the legs a little stronger you can suck the head and the face in a little bit but this one you can't really do that with so just kind of what it is all right so let's get into posing so you can just pick on a body part it says left upper leg and then it's kind of weird like a lot of them you can drag on the actual object itself but instead you're going to use the little toggles so i'll use the green one and then I'm going to pick the lower leg, bring it down. Oh, too much. So like I said, this is kind of weird. This is kind of a weird thing to kind of get used to, but it's not that big of a deal. And we're going to go like this. Okay. And over here on the other leg, go back just a little bit. And remember, if you get it kind of screwy, you can always reset it, so it doesn't really matter too much. Now, this is going to look a little weird, but I'm making sort of like a Wendigo eventually. And what this is going to do is um, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to have kind of like that third joint. Okay, so I need to bring torso forward kind of an unnatural bend to this bend to this thing make it really look it's gonna look a little unnatural and that's supposed to because I'm making crazy monster looking thing eventually so that's pretty good I like that it's gonna all end up sucking the abdomen in a little bit more and bring the chest up and out a little bit more but for now this will get me close to what I want so it takes a little second to get used to because you you're going up and down to go left and right or twist left and right which is kind of weird but it works once you get used to it right. and where it says left and right sometimes it's really you have to look at where the gizmo is because that's actually 
the direction of where you're gonna go. So even though it's even though it's blue and it says left and right, it's actually up and down, where left and right would actually be front and back. So it's kinda kinda weird. Alright. I go here, bring it front. So I want kind of a big open hug looking pose. Okay. And this I need to twist. Let's see. There we go. Twist here. Twist. Like I said, if I were to do this in Nomad with the person that I have in there, I've got a male that I can do something like this with, it would take quite a while to get everything exactly how I want and then you have to do a lot of sculpting and filling and combining where this is this doesn't take very long at all that's really nice I like it like I said for you know seven dollars a little less than a little less than seven dollars get a really nice uh, program that you can move in all right so then the cool thing on this now each individual one it's kind of weird so you can grab each finger and you'll see up here, right index finger. Now we're at the front and back, we'll just move it in and out and then left and right is up and down really. But to get it to curl the fingers around, you just hit the, where it says twist actually, and that will bring it in and twist the fingers in a little bit. So I'm just gonna give them all just a little bit of a twist in and adjust them out a little bit. Twist. And then it's just a matter of going however, you know, where, exactly what you want to do. And now I'm probably going to adjust a little bit more because I can't quite get what I want, but that's okay. So now I'm going to get over here where I can see it each one of the fingers I'm going to spread, spread these out just a little bit So I want the head to be a little bit of an attack thing. So I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pose the face even though I probably won't use it or at least not all of it. I'm gonna do the rage. And disgust. I think that's probably, there we go make it as angry as possible that's what I want right there okay that's pretty close to the pose that I had that I wanted to copy and like I said I'm gonna make it a little bit more extreme on here because we're gonna make it elongate the body a little bit and make it more Wendigo like so from here all you have to do is go over to the main menu um, and where it says OBJ, export OBJ with the red cube, or the white cube and the red OBJ. Click on that. And I'm going to pick Nomad. It's already on here. And I'm going to do new project. And I'm going to go ahead and save as. Yes, that's fine. Yes. Okay. 
So now the one thing you need to do when you're in here, as you can see, it's pretty choppy. Now, if you come up here and voxel remesh this coming up, you know, like I normally would around 500 ish. If you do that, it's what you're going to see is it's going to lose a lot. You know, it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it, it remeshes it, but it doesn't smooth it up. So we're going to tap back on that. Double tap. Come back. Okay. So instead, we're going to go down to your quad remusher. So hit quad remesher, and we're going to go up pretty high. You know, go maybe 50,000 quads and hit. Now this should keep the detail and smooth it. Now, you notice the face got really weird, which in some ways might be okay, but I know what happened. I've left symmetry on, so we're gonna turn the symmetry off and do that again. And now you have a very nice base mesh that you can sculpt on. Now you'll notice the thing that's kind of weird about this, that everything comes through pretty decent. The only thing that's a little weird is the hands, the fingers get pretty spindly. That's just kind of what it is, which that's fine if we're going to sculpt. Now there's one more step we're going to need to take because if you notice, we grab the smooth brush and you'll see these little black areas around the arms and face, how those lines come out. Something to do with the quad remesher and the way it comes in. So all we have to do to fix that is now we can go in and remesh and bring it up pretty high. Bring it up to five, six, seven hundred somewhere and remesh. And then you'll have a solid object with these all tied together. You can just hit it with a smooth brush and get rid of the kind of sharp edges. So if you got some areas like right here, you can see on the shoulder a little rough. Grab the smooth brush, smooth it off. And before it was a hollow object, and I should have shown you that, which you probably could have seen with the black underneath. But if we hit this with a trim, you'll see that it's a solid object now that we've remeshed. And you have a sculptable object. Now you'll see, like I said, you're gonna lose some detail, like the teeth are kind of blasted out and gone. Um, and the ears might be a little weird sometimes. I know the ones I brought in the ears were hollow, like it was really weird how it came through. But for the most part, this is gonna give me an excellent base mesh to pose a model. And you can bring another head in, you can use the head that's in here or whatever. So a lot easier than having to cut up a model and pose this, because this would take a lot longer to do in Nomad with just native objects that you're shaping all right hope you guys found this helpful and you guys enjoy using this so go go try that out that program works really well hey so uh, hope you guys find this helpful you know go find that pose tool 3d and like i said it's 6.99 on any of the mobile things uh, including the ipad or your android tablets and Try it out, see if you like it. It makes it's gonna make it a lot quicker to get something posed and sculpted. So, you know, this gives you a decent base mesh that you can accentuate and change up and make yours. Hope you guys really like this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right, thanks.